Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we have a sea of green. A lot of coins are actually picking up and running with it. So we have a lot of coins in the double digits, specifically altcoins. But right now we are going to speak about Bitcoin, how it has finally reached 50k and potentially it's going to continue to rise for at least the next foreseeable future. All right, if you haven't already, do subscribe, drop a comment below and hit the bell and get all the latest news in cryptocurrency. So Bitcoin has been having some some trouble fighting off that 50K stalemate. Now, what's going on is, of course, it is kind of coming up finally, 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 of course, after bouncing off support for some time uh, between like the 12th of December, right? We have even the 21st, it's just kind of bouncing around. That's a lot of sideways action, which keeps people pretty nervous, right? So it keeps everybody on their toes. Of course, if you're hodling, it's not really too much to worry about, right? So you're just kind of holding on. Uh, so it is starting to come up, even looking at the moving averages. Of course, we do have it uh, like from the 18th. It did give us a signal that, hey, it is going to start rising from off that off of support. And that's where we kind of have it now. This is looking at the, the daily right now. It's sitting at 50K, $786, and it is up today. I'm sorry. It is down today uh, a little bit. right? So not too much. We'll get into the market just a little bit uh, here in the future here in the moment so we do have it it's kind of still going off in that sideways action which it's typically because we do kind of sit in that triangle kind of way uh, but we are looking at it when we're looking at the weekly we do have bitcoin uh not looking so so hot but it does show still that it's kind of bouncing off support there it is some selling going on but when we're kind of when we're really looking at the volume of the matter it's pretty scary because you never really want to trade when you're kind of when, when you're in a downward slope in volume uh, it kind of shows, especially when it's really up uh, in price, when the price starts to go up, but the volume is pr still pretty low. Uh, it's a very hazardous time going in there. But what we do have is a low volume and it's starting to kind of rise, which is okay. Uh, but you don't necessarily want to trade too much uh, when you're hanging out on support so close, right? So that's what we have with Bitcoin. But Ethereum, let's talk about Ethereum. Ethereum is actually doing pretty well too. Uh, still some sideways action kind of moving in uh, into that triangle formation as well. If we did cross the line in the moving average, which does show an increase in price. And as we're looking at our, at our charts here, it does look like it's going to eventually break back up again. Uh, unfortunately, it's not where it was like 4,400 uh, like we had what on the 8th of December, but it is getting a little better now at least we're not bouncing up support as well because it was doing the same thing kind of following in uh, granddaddy bitcoin's footsteps but for the same uh for the moving day averages it is looking a little bit better and we had a huge upswing back in october uh and of course it started kind of making its way back down but it is kind of fighting off what, what we do see though is the power kind of shifting back to the sellers so it's going to move around a little bit but the volume is kind of slowly uh, going back down as well, but the price is actually confirming that it's kind of a, it's playing along in a, in a fair trade. Now, what about Terra Luna? Terra Luna has been doing fantastic. Terra, Terra Luna is right now uh, at $98 um, and it's doing pretty good. We have a big jump. The only thing that worries with me is that we've had such a big jump since the end of November that it is time for a good reversal. Uh, and that's kind of what kind of has me a little bit nervous here is that we're potentially looking for a reversal. And now this candle here is kind of signifying that too, that ugly, ugly candle. Uh, and it's kind of sporadic, right? So we have some normal candles around the same size, but when you compare them before, they're not the same. Uh, so it's not so easy. Now we did, again, the moving averages, when you're looking at these, it's signifying. And you can see that almost you can always go by some kind of price uh, action here based on this moving day average, this, uh, this MACD, right, the convergence. Uh, so it's always telling you now you can see that the volume of buyers is going down uh, and it looks like we're having some selling going on. This is kind of that candle that we're looking at here. So we are kind of hanging out, uh, but it does look like it could go for a reversal pretty soon because we've had a pretty big up uptrend going on. Now, uh, so it could reverse a little bit. Correct. Uh, but just these candles, when you're looking at them, uh, it doesn't show like this one. Right. You know how it's starting off at the beginning of the day, it's not too great. And these as well, it's kind of giving me some signs that uh, it's, it's going to make a, uh, a turn uh, the other way pretty soon. But it is doing pretty good. Terra Luna is pretty great. I'm uh, definitely making some money, especially if you've kind of bought right here into this dip in December a couple of weeks ago. Uh, you definitely made some cash. 
Looking at Matic, one of my favorite coins, actually. Uh, Matic's doing really great, too. So it's sitting at $2.82 uh, on the daily. We, again, the MACD is showing that it's going up, 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 and up, and it continues to do so. There's a lot of big things going on with Matic, especially the convergence with Uniswap as well, uh, showing some big notes. So that's something to watch out for. Of course, a pretty healthy uh, trend lines and uh, going on here, pretty much the same deal. The volume is kind of is a little worrisome as well, but I think we can still start climbing um, pr pretty well as long as we keep that healthy retractions going on uh, as well as the uh, trend lines. So that's something we want to look for. Let's look at the market. Uh, so sitting today, Bitcoin is up by 1.30%. Double digits for the weekly at 1043. Ethereum's up by 65 for the weekly and 0 0.09 for the daily. Uh, Solana is up by 1.41% and 15, almost 16% for the weekly, still doing pretty great. Cardano has actually finally reached a dollar, almost $1.60, which is actually surprising. Uh, so 30% for the weekly, almost 31, 10 for the daily. We have the USD coin, uh, just kind of hanging out, at, at a, well, just hanging out, exactly. XRP is actually starting to pick back up too, uh, at 7.97 for the weekly and 0.20% for daily now dots doing fantastic 31 for the week 718 for the daily avax is doing well too double digits 12.13 percent for the weekly and 3.52 percent for the daily uh some other coins that are doing really great too is crypto.com uh 26.21 maddox up by 36.38 for the week and 3.10 for the day so all of these coins are doing really really great light coins still in the positive uh, uh, let's see, Algo is also up by double digits, high double digits, 25.36, right? Even near protocol up for the week is 79. So you can see all of these are doing fantastic. De Mana, Decentraland 22, you can see Cosmos, actually Infinity 1958 for the week, right? Uh, so you have Vet by 25%, Sandbox is 35. You have Phantom at 75%. So all of these coins that we spoke about before are doing fantastic. Even Theta, almost 50%. Uh, for the weekly so all of these altcoins it's definitely that season as we spoke before we exactly said that around the closer we get to january and, and during january you're going to see a lot of these altcoins these gaming coins too are really going to explode and we have some really good releases coming up as well guys that's all subscribe drop a comment hit the link below and i will see you guys next time